Joe, I'm inside a place called Gun Doctor Nevada, and they use this room to train people on how to properly carry a concealed weapon. They also have some of these laser guns that help out with their training. Over here, this is pieces of what's called a ghost gun. Now, the owner of this shop says the executive order signed by or issued by uh, President Biden today will do more harm on law-abiding gun owners than it will on people who are looking to commit crimes. This is part of what's called a ghost gun. It's a gun that's created from pieces and parts that you have to put together yourself. You have to drill holes and you have to finish them. Brian Clark is the owner of Gun Doctor Nevada, and he says ghost guns are perfectly legal to own, but hard to trace. Once you make those, you don't have to have a registration, serial number, nothing on the gun. Thus the, the term ghost gun. So nobody has, knows that you have it, and it's not really traceable. They are also very hard to link when used in a crime, and that is exactly what people like Linda Cavazos of Moms Demand Action Every Town are afraid of. The ghost guns, um, those are terrifying. They are becoming the weapon of choice. Clark doesn't agree. Ghost guns aren't, I don't think they're a problem as far as crimes being used. President Biden wants the guns to be treated like any other firearm and be subject to background checks. But Clark compares building ghost guns to building hot rods and says while they may be dangerous if they get into the wrong hands, most ghost gun buyers are hobbyists. People enjoy making their own guns. Uh, people want to tinker. Uh, I get them through here as far as repairs and things like that. I, I don't have any problem with them. They're now being found at more and more crime scenes and there's no tr way to trace these guns or to find out where they came from because there's no regulation. Now, the owner of this gun shop says he's seeing a new kind of customer, one that he didn't really see all that often in the past. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you why seniors are buying guns more often. For now, reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.